so let's continue with our lesson this is lesson 6p uh, we're still on the point estimate and sample distribution so we're done with sample 7-11 we proceed to the next example so this one is for the exponential distribution mle so let x be an exponential random variable with parameter uh, lambda. So the likelihood function of the ram random sample of size n is this one. So this is just the summation from 1 to n of your uh, exponential function. So if we use the summation, so dun lang siya sa exponent. And para bumaba siya, you just get the ln of that function. ln na uh, so yung ln, we get the ln of those, or two, so by by difference, yung siyang difference, yung magiging ganito yung expression. Okay, so this one is the, the first derivative, so you get the first derivative of the ln na uh, uh, l of your lambda, which is equal to this expression. So, n over lambda minus summation ng xi. So, this one, to so get uh, the likelihood function, get the zero for the MLE. And equating this expression to zero, you can solve for your uh, lambda hat. For this one is for the estimator. As you can see, yung mean natin is equal to 1 over lambda for the exponential random variable. So, this one is equal to the expected value of x, kaya or yung x bar. Kaya, this is just 1 over uh, x bar. Siya. So, same as the moment estimate. So, that's for the exponential distribution. Let's proceed with the uh, normal distribution of MLE, but this one is for uh, simultaneous calculation of mean and yung uh, sigma squared. So basically, we know that your uh, normal distribution or normal random variable will have a variable known as the mean and the variance. Then, the likelihood function of the random sample. So, ngayon, ito, dalawa na. So, same din siya. And, ito yung summation ng exponential. Pag may nakikita kayo na capital na pi, I uh, meaning you just getting the sum of this expression or the hat ng term na yan with the variable on the uh, power. So, pag ginamit niya na yung sigma notation, dito na siya yung uh, sum. Take note, E is the uh, raised to that summation. So, getting the ln for both expressions, so we have this. Uh, function. So, ln ng L or function ng mu and sigma is just equal to, so this one is uh, product siya. So, by ln mawawala, higigis siyang negative. Okay? So, please take note. Recall yung sa ln. So, after this one, so dahil dalawa yung function natin, we can have our variable natin pala, we can have partial differentiation. The first one is partial differentiation with respect to mean or mu. And the second one is the partial differentiation with respect to variance. Okay, so pag kinuha nyo yung uh, first derivative, so ito, mawawala lang kong term na to with respect to mu. Na siyang mu, so ito lang yung mahiging. So, 1 over lambda squared, summation equal to 0. Kanina, first derivative, by power. Okay, so solving for mu, masosolve mo yung mu equals to the summation. Uh, summation ng x over n lang yan. Yung, yung value. Okay? Now, for the sigma, uh, basically, you can utilize this one for the sigma. Equate mo lang siya sa 0 and solve for sigma. And take note, mu is equal to your x bar. Then you will arrive to this expression. So, meaning, we can utilize the uh, multiple variable function in determining the mean and the variance estimator for the normal distribution. 
Okay, na. Ano yung mga property ng MLE? Or the minimum uh, likelihood. Okay? Uh, sorry. Uh, the min maximum likelihood estimate. Maximum likelihood estimate. So, first one is that your data hat is an approximately unbiased estimator of data such that expected value of your data hat is approximately equal to data. The variance of data hat is small variance that could be obtained with any other estimator and data hat an approximate, has an approximately normal distribution. Take note of this. Uh, the first two tong property na to is uh, usually uh, prepared siya compared sa MLPs because of this. Uh, ito yung reason kung bakit uh, MLE is prepared. Okay? Uh, usually, they are uh, the same as MDUs. To use MLEs, the distribution of the population must be known or assured. Okay? Kailangan nyo. Okay, now, for the invariance, the let uh, your data hat 1 to K be the maximum likelihood estimator or MLEs of the parameter data 1 to data k. Then, the maximum likelihood estimator for any function of your h data 1 to data k of this parameter is the same function as h of k. Yung ginawa natin kanina dun sa uh, normal distribution where we estimate yung mean at saka yung variance na normal distribution as uh, likelihood function. Okay? Let's have this example. So, for the normal distribution, ito yung na-obtain natin. To obtain the MLE of the function, we have function of your mean and the variance is equal to the square root of your uh, variance, which is your standard deviation. So, substituting this one dun sa function, so ito lang yun. So, substitute mo, ito lang yung lalabas, which is not the, say, not the sample standard deviation. So, take note, yung sample standard deviation is minus 1. Okay? And minus 1 siya. So, kaya hindi siya yung uh, standard deviation ng sample. This is the estimator for the uh, data. Okay. Complication of MLE method. The method of maximum likelihood is an excellent technique. However, there are two complications. First one is that it may not be easy to maximize the likelihood function because the derivative might be very difficult to uh, obtain or resolve algebraically kahit nakaset mo na siya sa zero. And number two, it may not always be possible to use calculus method directly to determine the maximum of L of your data. So ito yung mga example using the gamma distribution. So this one is with R theta. So pag uh, kinuha mo yung ln ng both side, you can have this expression, take note, meron ka pang function pa dito. So, this is another function. So, pag kinuha mo yung derivative with respect to r at saka with respect to y, meron ka uli pa dito derivative. Ito, madali tong, madaling kunin yung nr over sigma. Kaya lang, for this case, mahirap kasi meron kang expression na so, pag sinold mo siya, ito yung lalabas na uh, solution. And there is no closed solution for R and theta. Ah, okay? So, hindi natin masold yung R at saka yung uh, C. Okay? So, yung gamma distribution, basically, ito yung expression niya. Ito ay uh, surface functionality, yung three-dimensional function. While this one is the contour. Okay, so there are uh, ways of uh, doing estimation of the likelihood and we can use the uh, Bayesian uh, estimation so for, for parameters. So the moments and likelihood method interpret probabilities as relative frequency of objective frequency. While the random variable x has a probability distribution of parameter theta called f of x given theta, and we can express this uh, function as a function of theta. So we call that one prior 
distribution with mean and variance na identified. Then the probability associated with your uh, epoch data is just the subject probability. Pag nag joint distribution ka, you can have this one function of x1 to x and given theta. While the posterior distribution, posterior uh, distribution is a function of theta given no variable or random variable x1 to xn, which is our degree of belief regarding theta after observing the sample data. So we have the now that the joint probability distribution, so para makuha tong function na to is just equal to the function of x1 na naalala yung conditional. This is the conditional probability times your f theta sa, sa uh, yung Bayer's uh, function. Now, from the marginal distribution, we can get your f of x sub 1 to x sub n which is ito uh, for discrete summation with respect to theta. Well, this one is the integration with uh, derivative of theta from negative infinity to infinity. So, for the desired uh, posterior distribution, we have this f of theta given x1 to x of n. So, putting yun lang yung intersection, divide mo marginal distribution. So, the Bayesian Estimator of theta is the theta hat, the mean of the posterior distribution. Okay, so ito yung mga example using uh, normal distribution. We have function of mu, so meaning and express natin siya as mu. Ito na siya. At uh, the joint probability distribution, or uh, mu given uh, of the function given mu is this one. So, hindi naman siya masyadong luma. Hindi naman yung lalabas sa exam. Okay? So, basically, ito pa yung another uh, joint probability distribution calculation. Para makuha siya. Okay? You just apply. Pagkakuha ng, ng f of x. Uh, ito, mu. Ito yung computation nyo. Then, you just define. Para makuha yung expression na ito. Okay? So, Therefore, we recognize as a normal probability density function the expected value of mu, is, mu hat, is this expression. And uh, yung posterior variance is just the variance of mu t. Okay, so to illustrate, you can have this example. Yung parameters are uh, for this one is for the normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation or uh, the variance is one. So, we have sample n, we have x bar, and sigma. So, kunin mo yung estimation. Ito yung estimate. Substitute them. Direct substitution. So, we're n r uh, lesson 6b here.